Hi everybody, in this episode of Cubs Handy Tips, I'm going to show you how to set up the Frontier that's already got the awning attached. So the first thing you've got to do, obviously you set your legs up, level the camper off. I'm just going to walk around the camper and undo the six latches. And we come back to the front. Now we just release that strap a little bit. What that does, it allows us to get the strap out from underneath the roller at the back of the camper. Just give it a little lift. And we go back to the front. and we're going to wind the roof over. Now when you get to about the halfway point, which is the stop mark on the strap, you can start pulling the awning out. Go back to the front. Keep winding all the way down. Until the roof, the forward fold part of the camper, hits the luggage rack there. Pull the rest of the awning down, reach over, pop the camper up. You won't find a simpler and easier camper on the market than the Frontier to open up. Now that we've got the camper set up, the next step is to set the awning up on the Frontier. Now it's quite a simple process and what I'm going to do is what we do in a handover. So I'm going to lay the poles out on the ground in the positions that they're going to be on the awning. Then I'm going to put the pegs and ropes next to the poles. It makes it such a much easier process. The Frontier comes with a deluxe awning. Now it's got an extension out over the kitchen, as you all know. The poles in the kit there's five spigot poles. Now these are the uprights that hold the awning up. There's three Velcro spreaders. These ones hold the awning out from the camper itself. And then joining all those together, you've got five cup spreaders. So there's three long ones and two short ones. Now, as you can see here, I've laid the poles out in the positions that they're meant to be in. I've started with the Velcro spreaders that come out from the tent. I've got the cup spreaders that join them together. And then uprights in each of the positions they're meant to be in. I've also laid out the pegs and the ropes. Makes it a lot easier for you. The first step that I do in setting up any awning grab a tent peg and put it in opposite the center pole. Now what this does is it allows you, once you get that center pole up, you can tension that off with the rope. It stops the awning flapping around if there's a breeze, but also if you're setting up in the rain, once you get that center pole up with the rope on, you can do the rest of it under cover. Now when you're putting this peg in, it doesn't have to be in the exactly the, the right position. Once you get the other pegs in, you can come back and adjust this one into its right spot. The next step, grabbing the Velcro spreader. Now this is the one that comes out from the side of the tent. I'm going to disappear under this awning, attach the Velcro spreader to the side of the tent. I'll see you on the other side. You get the Velcro spreader and you push it against the tent. Now there's a patch of Velcro that's sewn onto the outside of the tent. Matches up with this. Just push it on there. 
You can smooth it out later. It'll hang there quite nicely. The next step, put the center pole in. After you've attached the Velcro spreader, you've got to put the upright in. So here, now the upright goes through the eyelet that is on the outside edge of the awning. Uh, take that through there, grab the wing nut, and wind it down onto the upright. Now we've got to connect the Velcro spreader to this upright. Okay, we're under the awning and we're going to attach the Velcro spreader to the upright. That's the center upright we just put in. One hand, you can hold that upright there or lay it back on an angle, it'll stay there. Velcro spreader, expand that. It comes over and we click it onto the upright above the collar. Now before we put the center pole up, what you want to do is just tension this center Velcro spreader a bit. Don't have to do it the whole way, we can come around and adjust it a bit later on. Now as you know, I put a peg in the ground before we started this whole operation. Now I've attached the rope to it. What we want to do, we, before we put this center pole up, grab the rope over the spigot, then we can just simply Lift up that center pole. You can tension that rope off. Now that awning's not gonna go anywhere. Now you wanna make things easy for yourself. So here's a tip. The two cup spreaders that come out from the Velcro spreader, attach them now. Okay, so attach these two cup spreaders to the Velcro spreader. like that. Now, the reason for this, we can now raise this center pole up to nearly its full height. These are already attached. You're never gonna be able to reach all the way up there, but we do everything at a height that suits you, makes it easy for you. The other thing you'll notice, just here, the adjusters, I've got them opposing, right? So when we actually connect these to the other Velcro spreaders, these are already in the right position for you. So now that we've got that center pole set up with the cup spreaders on there, we now move to the, the front of the camper. We're gonna attach the Velcro spreader, put the upright on and connect one of the cup spreaders across to this Velcro spreader. So I've attached the Velcro spreader to the Velcro patch on the front of the tent there. So next bit, grab your upright, grab the corner of the awning. Now we're popping the uh, spigot through the pole. Once again, grab hold of your wing nut. Tighten our wing nut up. The next bit, I'm gonna pop under the awning and connect that Velcro spreader. So simply, Bring it out, undo the adjuster, attach it to the upright. All right. Tension it out a bit. Grab hold of the cup spreader, which we prepared earlier. That comes across and attaches to the Velcro spreader, tension that off. Now while it's down at this height, put my two ropes on there. All right. Awning can go up, put our two pegs in and rope it off. Now another little tip when you're setting up your awning ropes, do a half hitch around the pole, bring it up over the spigot, makes things a lot more stable. Now 
once we've got this section of the awning set up, what we're going to do now is move from the centre pole towards the rear. Now don't worry about heights too much at the moment. We can go around and adjust that when we've got all the poles up. So once again, Velcro spreader gets attached to the tent. Up there, the Velcro pad. Once we've attached that third Velcro spreader, we move on, spigot pole, and then put the wing nut on. Once we've got this spigot pole attached to the awning, just extend it, lock it off. Now you can land it in on an angle. It's not gonna go anywhere. Grab hold of your Velcro spreader under the adjuster, bring it over, attach it. So once we've attached that Velcro spreader to this upright, come over, grab hold of this cup spreader. It's been hanging there since we started. Undo the adjuster and attach it to the Velcro spreader. Tension it off. Then once again, we attach the rope to the spigot pole, half hitch, bring it up, over. And we're gonna put the peg in the ground and tighten off that rope. Now we're at the point where we're gonna use the two short cup spreaders. These are the ones that go out for the extension over the kitchen. So grab hold of these. So these attach to the Velcro spreader. Grab them, simply attach them. They'll hang there quite happily. Until we're ready to connect them. After you've attached the two short cup spreaders, grab hold of both of your uprights one at a time, makes it a lot easier. And then we're just gonna put them through the eyelets on this extension part of the awning. Now just extend the leg out just a little bit. All right. On the angle, grab hold of the other one. Over into this corner. Once again, undo the adjuster, slide the leg out a bit, lock that off, sit it there on the angle. Then we've got to attach the long cup spreader between these two uprights. Slide it out until it meets up with that upright. Click it on, adjust your tension, Grab hold of the short cup spreader that you've put there before. It comes across and it attaches to the horizontal cup spreader. So we've attached the short cup spreader on this side. Now we don't raise this up yet until we attach this one on this side. Then put our ropes on the poles, the whole thing lifts up, put our pegs in, tighten everything off. Then you can go around and adjust all your heights. Once again, grab the rope, half hitch around the upright, up and over the spigot. Grab your other rope, same deal, half hitch over, over the spigot. All right. That's ready to attach to the pegs. Down here we do the same. Grab hold of our rope. Half hitch around the upright. Over the pole. Last rope. Half hitch up over the spigot. All right. Now that we've got those in place, 
we can go inside and actually raise this up. 